Hi, my name is Seti and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can transfer ownership of a file stored in your Google Drive. So let's dive into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. Now the first thing you need to do is have a file on your Google Drive. So let's open up our Google Drive. Now, before you can make someone else the owner of this file, you have to share it with that person. So let's go ahead and dive into our sharing settings. And the first thing you're going to do is make the new owner an editor to the file. So go ahead and give him editing privileges and share that file with him or her. Now, once you've done that, there is an extra drop down box. Once you open up this box, you can switch it from editing privileges to is the owner. Now, once you've made someone else the owner of a file, there's a couple of things you can no longer do. Now, the first is that you can no longer get that ownership back. So once you've given someone ownership, there is absolutely no way of revoking it. The second thing that you can no longer do is you can no longer take that file and permanently delete it. So once someone else is in charge and someone else is the owner, they will be the person who can permanently delete a file. Now this is how you transfer a file on a personal level. Now let's say that you are an admin and you run a G Suite domain and you need to transfer every single file from a single user to a new user. So let's say that someone's left your company or your school and their files have to be transferred to someone else. Well there is a way of doing that. First things first, dive into your admin console. Now find that user and make sure that their account is suspended. Now the reason for that is because we don't want that user to upload or create new files as we're transferring everything. You also need to have a destination for these files. So you need to make sure that the recipient or the user that's going to become the owner of all these old files already has an active Google Drive and also has enough storage on their Google Drive. Now, if you're using G Suite for education, storage is not an issue because you have unlimited storage. But when you're using G Suite for business, this could become an issue. Now, make sure that that is all in order. So you have a suspended user and then you have a destination or a user who's going to become the owner of all the files. Now, in your breakdown of your admin console, you're going to want to look for docs and drive settings. Now you can find this within the apps menu, then you select G Suite and then Drive and Docs. Now here you're going to see that there is an option to transfer ownership. So click on that and then just fill out all the information there. Now this will, as an admin, transfer ownership of all these files. However, the original user can still edit the files. So one of the main things to do when someone is leaving your company or school is to also make sure that this account is suspended. Now, as I said, it makes sense to suspend an account before transferring ownership because that way no new files are added. Now, I hope you found this helpful. If you'd like to see more admin based tutorials or more tutorials on how to do these type of tricks, let me know in that comment section below. Once you've left a comment down there, scroll back up, find that subscribe button, hit it so you can be updated about new videos being uploaded and you also need to ring that bell because without that bell you will not be notified whenever a new video is uploaded. Now I upload weekly videos and I'd love to see you next week to join me for another flipped classroom tutorial. Thank you for watching.